Welcome back to Genuine Gora guys. This is the fifth video in the Java FX tutorial series and in this video I will show you how to create a table and display the contents of the I mean the book contents in the database. So far we have developed this user interface for entering books, saving books and uh, we have developed a small uh, code for reading data from the database. Now the data is being shown in the uh, system dot out stream and uh, instead we will display it in a table more cool right so i'm going to create I, I have just changed the name of this controls in order to make it more easy to identify so i have named the control of the add book interface to book data control and library system dot java is the starting class and now we have to create a new package so new java package and in that package i mean it is library dot assistant dot ui dot instead of add book we have to uh, list book dot list book i'm going to press finish so now we got it now we want to make a empty fxml file so that will be book list book list dot fxml we have definitely want a controller so let it be book list control class and uh, it definitely is yes, we will need this later book list dot css so that's good for just a moment i am going to close all other windows i mean including this window and i am going to open the book list dot fxml file now we want to create a table right so I have an anchor pane here all that I want is a table view and uh, I'm going to drag and drop it right here and uh, right, right click and fit to parent so it will fit the entire available area then in the column resize section since th uh, this does not uh, uh, take the entire available area I'm going to take it to constraint resize so now they occupy the entire available area and for the first column let us give the book title and in the second column we can give the maybe book ID okay then I'm going to duplicate this and uh, third one could be author fourth one could be a publisher so these are the four data one more data is available whether it is available in the database I mean in the library or not so that is a boolean one and in that case also we need a column so availability avail availability availability so that's great now uh, we have to give some name for the columns so fx id i'm going to give this title column and the second one is id so that will be the id column and third one is author so definitely that will be the author column and next one is publisher column so publisher column the next one availability column so availability column so good we have defined a, a variable names for all the columns and we have to give a name for the table view so i'm going to give it as the table view and for the angle pane also i'm going to give a name let it be the root pane again so that's great the uh, uh, fxml designing is complete instead of book list controller that's fine and i am going to the library assistant project and i am going to right click on it and make controller so it will create all the controls for me and i'm going to remove this comment just like always i hate these comments so that's fine now we have to create a class for containing the object of book i mean i think you are already familiar with the uh, um, uh, java fx table view if you are not i have already made a tutorial on using the table view go back and watch that first in order to understand this properly if not you can come uh, do this with me so class book i have a class called book and inside that i am displaying these five properties i mean there are five properties for this class so that will be the private uh string symbol string property is a bean property so symbol string property and the first property of the table is title then i'm going to repeat this four times i have a, 
title property then id property then author property and publisher property publisher property and i have a symbol boolean property so symbol boolean boolean property and that will be availability so that's fine now we have to write a constructor for this one so i'm going to write a simple constructor which will receive string title uh, and it will receive string id it will receive order string publisher and str boolean availability that's fine now we have to construct these properties from the string value so i'm going to give you like title equals new simple string property from what the title again so i will have to use this dot title new symbol string property then i am missing a l so okay in string cannot be kind of symbol string property sorry for that symbol string property and i have to repeat this for four, uh, four more columns id order then publisher yes now we have to give the name again order again publisher uh, order oh, sorry id order and publisher now i want one more the availability equals new symbol boolean property from that i am using availability so far so good we have to give some constructors i'm mean, sorry not constructors getters and searches for that i am going to press alt insert and i'm going to give the getter and i'm going to click on this one and generate but when we return the data we are expecting string value rather than simple string property so i'm going to give string for all this so that will be string then here in case uh, we have to give boolean and instead of return title dot get function will return the original value so in the first four cases that will be string in the last case that will be boolean so far so good we have done the uh this part i mean define the class part that's fine now we have to define what kind of data we are showing in the table so definitely we are showing book data and in all of this question mark we have to give book and here we are giving a book from the book we are displaying string here also book string so book string again then book string again again one more book string then here we are showing book boolean because we are showing book boolean value so that's fine too now we have to initialize the column uh, setting the cell value factory so init column is a function that will initialize the column values cell uh, the cell values so num f there are five columns so title column dot set cell value factory and I'm going to say a property value factory for that and inside that I'm going to give the title this will associate the title column in the table with the title in the book so that is the need of this initial I mean the in a uh, set cell value factory method so we have to repeat this for ID column and uh, author column and uh, publisher column and the availability column so that's it availability column and so we got id we got title we got author we got publisher and we got the availability availability so that's fine uh, the column initialization is done now we want to extract data from the database and put it onto the uh, table so for that we have to have a database handler object and i'm going to create a database handler object like database handler handler equals new database handler okay and then i'm going to call load data function so load data load data is a constant function and inside this load data 
we will read data from the database so uh, this handler has to be either global or accessible from here so that's fine handler and I am going to reuse the previous code I mean the code that we used for the book ad controller so in the check data I am going to copy that and paste it right here so here we have used the variable name handler database handler so now we need that handler and instead of selecting only title from the book table I'm going to select everything from the book table and first I will read the title then I'm going to repeat this for four times so I will get title then all the ID and the publisher there's one extra U and I need a boolean variable that is availability which will can be accessed using get boolean method so it will return a boolean function uh, value from the database and I have to know the value that is is available is the table column name so uh, boolean availability is with rs dot get boolean is available so that's it now we need an observable list for adding this object into the list and associating it later to the table so for that i have created a observable list list equal fx collections dot observable list so i have removed the database handler from the top so this will create a observable array list now there is still some problems here uh, we have taken we, we have been taking the title from all of these values string title x order so we want to change that too so I'm going to the skeleton and uh, there is first title then for order we have to get the data from the order column then for ID we have to get from there then here we have to take that from the publisher section so I think that's fine we got publisher author title and ID and we have to create a list of book and we have already created the list and now we have to add each book object into the list so i'm going to add a new book and that means already substituted the parameters for me title is okay id is okay order is okay curious not okay we need publisher then availability so that's it now the next thing that we have to do is to add uh, or in order to associate this list with the table view so i'm going to select the table view dot get items dot set all and i'm going to pass the list so that's fine now we have taken the data from the database added it to the list and associated it with the table view and there are still some modification that we have to make to the wrapper class here we have to make it as a public static class and uh, since it is static we have to give a final here so private final private final private final private final so that's good um, I think this should work and I have already created a book list loader in order to make things faster I haven't shown you this this book list loader is nothing but a simple loader like a library assistant or Java that will load the fxml file called book list load fxml file which is nothing but our file i'm going to build the project first okay uh, then i'm going to click on this and run file so as you can see our table is working we have got the title book id author publisher and the availability data so that's it guys that's how you display the data from a database in a Java FX table. So as always, thank you for watching this video. Let me know your comments in the comment section and stay tuned for the next video.